I could never do like a what I eat in the day video because my eating habit is ridiculous. Do we do it? I think we do. Ow! This is such a weird angle but I've got a group of people staring at me through the window so love that uh, hey guys welcome back to another video welcome back to another weekly vlog i'm actually keeping up with them quite proud of myself not gonna lie let's see how long i can actually keep them going but i'm starting this video on a tuesday and it's my birthday today so i'm really i sound really excited i'm really excited to show you what i've already got because i actually forgot to intro today's video so it is now quarter past six in the evening and I've already like done a huge shopping day and yeah I vlogged a little bit but I didn't want this whole video to be like a big shop with me video so so yeah I got a little bit don't know what it's gonna be but I'm gonna insert it after this little intro and then I can meet you back home and show you everything that I got because I picked up some goodies and yeah I'm really excited to share everything. I also did a big shop in Primark, but I'm gonna save that for a separate Primark video. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on because I didn't this morning and say hello, hope you're all doing really well. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump into this week's weekly vlog. very Greek this section isn't it? Don't you think? Aww. Aww. Uh, I love the insides of that out wouldn't they? Yeah. Are there any other like rubber ones? Do you think he'd want to play frisbee? No. Too big for him. Yeah, he won't be able to carry that. But yeah, what I was saying around here is it's very Greek. Greek. Greek? Yeah. Like Greek. Don't you think? It's uh, Spanish. Oh, is it Spanish? Yes. I thought it was like Greek just because it's blue. No. Oh, very Spanish then. An ice brown sugar oat shaken espresso. I can't remember who was having it, but I was watching someone's vlog and they said it's amazing. It so. is. Taste it. Mm. That actually tastes exactly like the espresso that you put in the McDonald's vanilla milk Yes. That's a good shot. That's what that tastes like. I actually suck. I am so sorry that I didn't show you what I got yesterday. If you can't tell, it's actually the next morning. Haven't got ready yet, haven't done my hair, still in my pajamas, but I got in yesterday and we started just binge watching The Traitors, which is, I'm obsessed with it. Had a couple of drinks, just chilled out and yeah, I didn't film anything. Yeah, I had a really lovely birthday and I think because it was my birthday, I was like, I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to film if I wasn't really feeling it. I just wanted to enjoy my birthday. So anyway, it is now the next morning. So I have got like a few bits to show you, which I am very happy about. Um, I also have a huge, if I can even pick it up, Primark sack. Um, but I'm gonna show you, I don't even remember everything I've got. I didn't think I got that much, but I'm going to go through that and do a separate Primark haul that should already be up on my channel. If not, it'll be after this one. If it is already up, go give it a watch. If it's not, it will be up next. But yeah, otherwise I'm going to be sitting here all day going through what I got from Primark. But what did I get from this one? What's this? Oh, body care. Nothing exciting from body care. So I got some ibuprofen. What's this? Our fabric dressing, some more ibuprofen. I got some um, conditioner because I got the shampoo to this the other day, but they didn't have the conditioner, so I got the conditioner for that. And I also got some talc because Rob bought me some Birkenstocks for my birthday. They are just here, and I am 
I'm obsessed with them, I love them, and I just, I'm obsessed. But when I walk in them, they make a really weird kind of farty noise, not gonna lie, like my foot, like, like it sticks to the bottom in a weird way. I think my foot is just like too curved. So as the curve like hits it, it like makes that weird noise. And I've heard that talc is supposed to stop that from happening. So we'll see. So I didn't get a bag from River Island, so it was just in the White Company bag, but it's not from the White Company. But I got these shorts and I love them. They are so soft. And I thought they're gonna look really nice in Greece because they're blue with just a white tank top. But I just got these little linen shorts. So a bit pricey. I mean, I don't normally buy the twenty-five pound. Don't normally shop with Ryden that much. But I just think they're really nice. Another like outfit made for Greece. Like I say, just with a cami. And then what I did get from the White Company. I actually already opened it yesterday, so it's this, so it's seashells, Seychelles candle, very disappointed with it, <laughs> not gonna lie, I think this is gonna be a very unpopular opinion, but it doesn't smell of anything, like, it smells when you smell it, it smells when you smell it, you know what I mean, when it's not lit, but then when it's lit, it didn't fill the room with anything, whereas I had a candle, let me just find it, I had a candle lit the other day from Lidl, I think it was, and it's the spiced vanilla one. And this actually filled the room. It's so strong, it is absolutely gorgeous. And this was like three pounds. And this was 20 quid, and it doesn't smell. So I don't know what the hype is about this, but I had serious FOMO, needed to try it out. Now I have one won't be buying another one but I mean it looks nice doesn't it like for styling purposes but that's literally the only thing I got and then Zara I got a top in the sale this was reduced to 5 pounds six pounds and it's just this little tube top it's really small to be fair but it is quite stretchy and it's so thick and that is why that's what I love about Zara is the fact that it's so thick you don't have to wear a bra it's going to be quite supportive and yeah, just another basic for summer. And then I also picked up some more Red Temptation perfume because this is pretty much my signature scent because I wear it all the time. I ran out, I actually ran out a couple of months ago, a few months ago, so really happy that I got that. And then the last bits that I got were makeup bits from Superdrug. Hello, Peepee. Yeah. Yeah, a set of mist from elf i haven't tried this one wanted to give it a go i also got the power grip primer which again i haven't tried really wanted to give it a go it's meant to be like really really sticky so i'm gonna try that out this morning i just got some more sky high mascara these i wear oh these i wear every single day um well not the like this i put on every single day it's the brow glue and i always use just the clear brow glue but i also bought the tinted one so i thought that I might just give it a little bit extra like on the ends and then i also picked up some just some white kind and free vegan nail varnish yeah those are the few bits that i can show you at the minute like i said I do have a huge, huge Primark bag, but I will show you that later on. So I'm actually going to my parents this afternoon and then I'm having my sister around and my nephew and niece. So I need to go and get ready for that so I can get ready to go out. So I'm back in time for when my sister comes around. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that because I'm now going to go and put all of this on um and yeah get ready for the day all in your sight your new eyes cut sharp like a knife take a moment and look all around you i don't want you caught off guard or along with i come for you i need you to know that I would never walk away I know what you need I would plead for you but you're taking some
you having a good time? Are you having a good time? Walking it. Oh, you bumping into Dada. You bumping into Dada. Mmm, is that nice? Hey, okay, sweetheart. Good boy. I know. I know. No, no, no. down good boy calm down is that better is that better nice and dry nice and dry oh one nice clean papa is that better good boy has literally taken it out of me he hates getting wet so giving him a bath a shower is an absolute nightmare isn't it baby boy but he's clean and nice, smelling fresh, so I'm glad that's done. So does anyone else have the issue when they get the iced, or any iced coffee drink really, from Costa? I have to wrap tissue around it now because it literally drips all over my clothes and I'm wearing like neutral clothes, white, beige, cream, pretty much all the time. And I had a white, like a beige jumper on earlier and it went on it and I was really annoyed and I don't know why, if you can see, like it just goes all over the tissue. I never used to have that problem. I think I'm just going to tip it into a normal glass. But anyway, hello. Oh, I know. I know. Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. So this week has been really weird because both me and Rob have had the week off work. We're just having a really chilled week, which kind of makes for quite a boring vlog. So I haven't really been vlogging this week because there's just been a lot of lounging at home, binge watching, telly, not really anything worth filming so I'm sorry about that but yeah just as and when I'm picking up the camera but he's just gone to get his hair cut and is also going to be going shopping so it's given me a little bit of time at home and I'm thinking of redoing the shelves because I hate them I don't even know the last time I cleaned them off to be honest looking at them they're just a the right state obviously they've got all my birthday cards and stuff on still so I just want to take that down and re rejiggle a few bits because i got some home decor for my birthday and yeah i want to like swap bits out and move it around so while i have a few minutes to myself i think i might redecorate the shelves what's that you got post you got post one sec another day another delivery so this is i think just my i know um cleansing balm yeah so first time this has actually happened i ordered on amazon it says that it was delivered and it wasn't so i have to like put in some sort of complaint refund whatever to track it down but i bought some like little mini perfume i don't know what they're called like perfume travel case things um and some bb cream and the bb cream wasn't in the package but my email says that it was and I haven't got it, but I also picked up some Body Shop Cleansing Butter. Like really subtle, but I bought some the other day from Superdrug. And honestly, it nearly made me blind. It was recommended by a girl that worked there. It kind of left a white fog over my eyes, but then 
I don't know if I was just like rubbing too hard, I don't know, but it also kind of smells a bit like crayons, a bit like waxy, like it didn't have a nice smell to it either. And to start with, when I opened it and it didn't smell nice, I didn't think anything of it, like it really doesn't matter because I moisturise and everything afterwards anyway. But yeah, it really, really irritated my eyes. So I just got this one off Amazon. I've had this one before, it works really well, takes off waterproof makeup does the job so I just got that but yes it's just reminded me that I need to track down my other delivery anyway anyway you look so scruffy you need a brush yes you need a brush you do so yeah anyway I'm gonna go ahead sort out my coffee sort out those shelves and just make it a little bit nicer in here because I feel like every spring summer my house just ends up awful because autumn winter is just everything for me for home decor i make everything so cozy and it's just decorated so nice whereas in the summer i don't really feel the need to decorate the house but i need to spruce it up a little bit so that's what we're gonna do trying an error because I don't really know how I'm decorating but how pretty is this my parents got it me for my birthday so I definitely want it to go on the shelf somewhere I'm just not really sure where yeah I think it's gonna take a little while because I really want to do a whole a whole swap around because the shelves have looked the same since forever so even though that was there before I do want to keep that vase up there just because it's one of my favorite so I do want it sort of on display, but just looking at everything else, I think a lot of the stuff that's on the coffee table, I'm gonna put on the shelf and then maybe have some bits on the coffee table that were on the shelf. I don't know, I definitely need to think this through. But yeah, let's just keep going, see how it looks, see how it goes. This is what it's looking like. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background, but I actually really like how this looks. It's so bare compared to what it was, but I think that's why I like it. So I just popped that little faux plant on my White Company book with the White Company candle. This is the one that I was quite disappointed with, but I mean, look how it burns as well. Like when you turn it around, it doesn't even look nice anymore. So I'm definitely not gonna burn it again. I am just gonna have it as decor and leave it there. But yeah, I do like how it's just minimal, but now I've got all this stuff to contend with. And yeah, I think once I've sorted that out and the radiator cover, it's just honestly, it's just turned into a bit of a, a shambles of a room. It's a bit more of a gym. It's, it's Rob's got his um, little, I don't even know what that is like a stand for his phone when he plays the xbox on his phone I've still got my primark bag down there so yeah it is an absolute mess but I think I can just sort of rearrange these odd bits in there and then the radiator cover and it should be good but yeah I just wanted that little area to be a bit more plain a bit more simple I don't know if to have something in the middle there because it is looking a little bit too symmetrical hmm actually what could I have okay I'm gonna need to think about that because I feel like it might be a little bit bare up there now so let me know what you think I've just added the dough bowl that was on, like under the tv and I don't know if that makes it better or worse I don't know I'm gonna leave it there for now and then just crack on with everything else but yeah let me know if less is more or if I do need something up there the more I'm looking at it now, the more I don't like it. I am so indecisive. I pretty much instantly took it back down and put it back over there. Um, and then I've changed up this corner, but this is sort of everything that I'm not using at the minute. Okay, I changed angles so I could actually see you, but 
I don't like decorating for summer. I've come to that conclusion. I really like autumn winter and I think I'm good at autumn winter. Like I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I am quite good at making my house nice and cozy. And there's just nothing cozy about summer, which is why I struggle. So I have changed up the radiator cover a little bit. I've popped my crystal, the new candle that I got for my birthday, and then that vase with like the olive branches that were in the windowsill. But now I have a whole selection of stuff over there that I'm not using. And obviously having a workout bench and everything is throwing me off anyway. But I think I need to like pull everything out of the TV stand because I don't like any of it anymore. Like I like the individual piece. No, I like the individual pieces. Yeah. I don't mean I'm just getting rid of everything, but I mean together it's just not working anymore so i need to like pull it all out i might mix stuff with the decor that i've got in my dressing room i might bring some of that down but yeah at the minute none of it is flowing you know none of it is giving me joy and yeah i need to sort that out but i don't think i'm going to be doing that today i think i am going to wait until all of the workout stuff like after the holiday is gone and then I can revamp because after the holiday, I'm, so I'm going on holiday in September. So when I get back, I'm going to be decorating for autumn. So this may as well stay until autumn and then I can have a right clear out and get cozy because yeah, I don't really want to do it now for like August. And then in September, we're going on holiday, we're getting back, we're putting the pumpkins out. Yeah. So it can just stay like that. I wanted to get the shelves done. That was the main thing. That was the thing that everyone sees. I just wanted it to be nice and decorative and it's looking lovely. So yeah, I think that'll do for now. I think, you know what I'm like when it comes to decorating, I might change my mind tomorrow and end up pulling everything out and starting again. But yeah, for now it can stay how it is. I think I might just box up the bits that I like I'm not using, but the sort of summary because I don't want to get rid of any of it. I was thinking I might sell some stuff on Vinted if I'm not using it, but I like it all and I know that I am going to use it again. So yeah, I think I might just put that to one side for now and rethink that a little bit later. Another day, another ice latte. I am honestly obsessed. This one from Audi is really really nice i feel like i'm a bit in limbo like i don't really know what to do rob's not very well today so he is in bed so i have brought all my makeup downstairs because i thought i may as well just come down sit down do my makeup down here whilst talking to you whilst watching the telly and just have a bit more of a chill morning because yeah i don't know what to do it is honestly pouring down with rain outside we were gonna go shopping as well which just isn't gonna happen not only is rob not very well but it's also gloomy raining gray so that's not gonna happen so yeah i just feel a bit in limbo a little bit i did get a little delivery that cheered me up but i think i'm gonna do my makeup before opening that um but yeah we can just sit chill out do our makeup if i keep looking down it's because the mirror is down there hello i'm gonna help mama do makeup the outfits i don't know how i didn't try this before but definitely helps your makeup stick so i don't know how many times i've actually mentioned in this vlog that i need to film that primark haul but it's still not done so that's definitely on my to-do list i actually thought it was going to be up before this video but it's definitely not yeah i don't know if to film that on today or look how nice that is and it just leaves the face like so sticky um but yeah i don't know whether to film that today or just film it monday and then it goes up like wednesday i'm not really sure but next i'm gonna go in with the l'oreal infallible i love this foundation it just stays all day but i only use like a little bit on my cheeks and then i spread it around i don't actually use that much but I don't actually think you need that much, like, yeah, it's just a really nice summer foundation, and I love it. So I didn't actually want to put too much makeup on today, but I don't know if I'm going to end up filming the Primark haul. Whenever I film, like, sit down 
try on some just hauls in general i need to be a little bit more done up so doing this makeup just in case so you can't wait to open that package it's just staring at me so if you've seen my previous vlogs you'd know that i got my second and third holes pierced and i can't wait to change them because they're silver just silver studs but i'm not a huge fan of silver and so all of my other earrings for my first like hole a gold and i've got some new ones for my birthday that i want to wear i'm so annoyed at some point my microphone died so halfway through talking we lost audio and there's no way of getting that back so love that but i have finished my eyes um i've just still got a little bit to do on my face but yeah i was literally just rambling on about all sorts and i can't even really remember what i was saying but i think when it died i was talking about my earrings um so yeah i am gonna unbox those with you because i haven't actually seen those yet or opened them i thought i'll just get my makeup done and then we can see what it looks like again sorry if the audio sounds a little bit terrible right now my microphone is on charge so i'm gonna do this little section without it just finish my makeup off and um, i'm just gonna go in with the elf tour bronzer kind of palette also really excited because i've actually booked i've booked an appointment for botox and i know it's not everyone's cup of tea please don't come at me in the comments if you don't agree with it don't think i should get it because i just think it's personal preference everyone should just do what makes them happy that's my view on it and i have wanted to get rid of these for the longest time i have had botox once before um and it actually ended terribly to be honest um it gave me a migraine for about three weeks i want to say i was literally stuck in bed it was so painful but i'm trying again because i need to do something just a confidence thing at the end of the day i think i'll feel a lot more confident when i don't have like even when i don't move my head like obviously when I move it you can see loads but even when I don't move it like I have really big like dents in my head so yeah I'm looking forward to getting that sorted out so that is on the 26th I'm going to be doing that which is actually my wedding anniversary bit of a strange day to be doing it I'm going to vlog it it's going to be in one of my future vlogs I'm guessing not next week but the week after um, and obviously you don't see results straight away so I might get it done at the beginning of the week and then we'll see what it looks like at the end but the first time I got it done it actually only lasted about six weeks I want to say six to eight weeks and it's meant to last like three to six months so I'm sure the first time round something went wrong like they didn't know what they were doing because yeah it was painful and it lasted well it didn't last that was the problem obviously if it just causes pain I'm not going to have it done for the third time but i just i feel like i need to i need to do something because yeah it is just it's driving me mad that's all i see when i look in the mirror and i need to i need to feel good about myself and that is getting rid of this you probably noticed i don't actually do my makeup in the right order um i never like do one thing and then move on to the next i literally like do a bit on my face do a bit on my eyes just jump around because I kind of get bored doing one thing for too long. <laughs> current makeup look i actually just sort of brushed through my hair already so i think that can just stay how it is i do like that it's a little bit wavy so yeah this is the finished look and now we get to open my earrings i'm honestly so excited oh my god how cute is that with the little green string so let's moment of truth going on with this lighting Oh, I think they're so cute. So the first ones I got are these little lightning bolt ones and I am obsessed with those. How pretty are they? Like I see so many people wearing these lightning bolts. I love those. I think they'll go in 
my third piercing and then what else did I get no nope, they beat me darling you can have the box darling maybe you can have the box good boy good boy you can have the box you can have the box oh I actually forgot I got little stars how cute are they let me get them out of there but those are just absolutely adorable honestly and I'm thinking they will be in like my third piercing they will be in my second and then I've got these ones that my mother-in-law got me for my birthday and I just think they are so pretty they're exactly what I wanted just like little dangly huggy hoops I just think they're so pretty but I'm not supposed to take these out for another week do we do it? Do we do it? I think we do. Ow! Okay, that hurt. Okay, now I'm scared because it came out. I think I'd cry if it healed up instantly. So this is what the first one looks like. I don't think you can really see. I really don't think I should be doing this, but here we are. Oh, oh, okay, it worked. Ah, oh, okay. The one that I thought would be more difficult actually just went straight in. Like the huggy hoops that my mum got me. My mother-in-law got me, but she is basically my mum. Oh, I love that. I actually love that so much. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other ear. Probably off camera because that took me a while. Guys, honestly, I'm obsessed with them. Look how pretty they look. I'm obsessed. I'm honestly so obsessed. I'm gonna have so much fun like mixing and matching jewellery especially going on holiday I can now like have nice like little shell ones <sighs> like little huggies oh honestly I'm just obsessed I think they're so pretty my earlobes are very sore and swollen and red and just yeah like I really shouldn't have done this I definitely don't recommend going against the advice you're given when you get a piercing but I'm so I'm so impatient, I just needed to do this, so really happy with those. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's many hours later. I've literally just been watching YouTube and here we are, it's like five o'clock and I am making something to eat and I'm being super lazy. So I'm just having one of these like ready jacket potato things, but I could never do checking that still on. I could never do like a what I eat in the day video because my eating habit is ridiculous. Do I want a coffee? That is the question. But to be fair, I really need to. <sighs> bin is so annoying. We have this new bin and it like opens on a sensor, but my bum keeps opening it. Like every time I walk by or like turn around, the bin opens. It's so annoying. But actually, I think I'm going to whiz around and quickly empty the dishwasher. Do the kitchen, put a wash load in while I'm waiting for that to cook. That makes more sense. So I'm gonna pop you on a bit of a time lapse, quickly get that done, and then we can have something to eat. This definitely isn't the most aesthetic thing to eat. I know people normally try and make it all pretty and yeah, that's just not me. It is literally a jacket spud with tuna mayo and cheese. Tuna mayo and cheese is the way forward. I think I'm actually just gonna eat this, watch some YouTube 
and chill out for the rest of the evening and I'm saying that like I haven't just chilled out all day but yeah I think I am going to go ahead and end today's vlog here just so I can get it edited tonight and then up for you tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be doing like much for the rest of the evening so I think I would rather just sit and edit and just know that this video is going to be up for you tomorrow so I really hope that you've enjoyed this one I hope you're having a good weekend don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also leave today's video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys back here in my next one bye